view last Sunday we said over 2,000 years ago there was a city called Athens and Athens was and represents the intellectual center but there was another city called Corinth and Corinth represents the love center that is located in us in back of the heart. Now, Corinth in trouble. They did whatever they wanted to do, however they wanted to do it. No rules, no regulations, no laws, no nothing. Just everybody go for yourself. Now, it's very much like our world today. So something has to be done. I say this to you all the time because it's true. There have always been prophets, preachers, pastors, whatever you want to call them, always been channels chosen by God to give his message and his lessons to his children. And so Paul is the channel that God's using at this particular time. Paul was in Athens and he got the message, go to Corinth, Paul, they need help. And Paul listened, he heard, and he obeyed. And when he got to Corinth, he discovered that he wasn't there just for the people. He was there for Paul. Because God began to pour through him poems, sentences, affirmations, and Paul began to write, and then he asked, what is this all about? And God said, Paul, I want you to teach my children. I want you, Paul, to withdraw from Athens. You have served your purpose. You've learned your lessons intellectually. Now I want you to go to the Corinthians and help my children understand who and what they are and why they are here. And Paul, as you know, wrote what we call an essay. And he started off this way. And I like it because Paul taught through his letter in very simple words. He said, even though you may speak in beautiful and impressive languages, even though you may speak intellectually, is what he's saying, in such beautiful words, such beautiful words that people don't even understand what you're saying. But if your words are not prompted by love, they will not reach the hearts of men. If I gave everything I had to poor people, and if I were burned alive for preaching but did not love others, it would be of no value whatever. Let me say it again. The world today is very much like Corinth. We need help. And I asked the question, can you help us, Paul? And Paul said, yes. Yes. Because the essay is the same today as it was 2,000 years ago. And that's another thing I like about these principles. They don't change because of who you think you are. 
They don't change because you have traveled all over the world. They do not change because of who you know nor what you think you know. What happened, Paul? Paul said after I got to Corinth and discovered the true meaning of Corinth, I went to that love center within myself and the power called love was awakened within me. And Paul said, I made a great discovery. And that discovery was just to say, I love you. A bunch of words, easily stated. He said, but I discovered there are elements to love. And I want you to think about nine elements involved in love. And I want you to know some people call them the spectrum of love. The very first element in love, remember it involves patience. You got to be patient, even patient with yourself. Remember that the demonstrations don't come sometimes easily, nor like that. Love makes us wait on demonstrations knowing that God is the demonstration, but God is also the demonstrator. Be patient. Don't be disturbed with the seeming faults of others. Love covers a multitude of faults. If we put love, which is God, there will be no faults. Patience. Be patient with yourself. Wherever you are at this particular time, you didn't get there overnight. Know how long you've been doing what you're doing? Don't tell me. I can look at you and tell. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? But it, it means work. It means daily changing of your feelings, your thoughts. And the thoughts are not going to go away and leave you alone just because you've made a decision. But you're ready for it. Every time it gets ready to challenge you, you're ready. I'm patient, and I'm going to get rid of you, and I'm going to do it now. Keep putting the word now in it. The second element is kindness. Be kind to one another. Last Sunday, we discussed each element in detail. The third element, generosity. Generosity is saying love does not envy. Why should I envy you when you got the same thing I got? Why should I envy you when God knows no respecter of persons? All of us are his children. He is our father. He has provided for all of us. If you are not making the demonstrations, if you are not being what God created you to be, it is not God's fault. It is our fault because we won't go to the places, or wherever that is, and I'm not talking for CUT, wherever it is that your soul feels good and happy, wherever you can go and the next morning when you wake up and see your friends and they say, did you go to church yesterday? Oh, yeah, I went to church yesterday. What was church like? What did they talk? Oh, I don't know, honey. We just had a good time. 